Hey guys, so this is day 27, maybe day 28 of trying to start my business. Um, so today I ended up, um, okay, what did I do today? I had the same routine as usual. Um, I've been doing research on how to find, um, or I've been doing research via social media marketing and specifically with this guy named Ravi Avala, I think his name is. But uh, yeah, that's that's who I'm doing research with um, in terms of social media marketing in the last couple of days. Um, I did some college stuff just trying to get it together. Um, you know, it's kind of, uh, I wasn't thinking about going for this semester um, because of the situation, but um, I realized I have to if I want to stay a Cal State San Marcos student. So I'm going to do some a marketing class and I think a business communication class at Miracosta. I should be getting my associate's degree, but you know, there was a situation with one of the requirements, just AP scores that I needed to prove. Um, and I haven't done the AP test for like three years now. Um, but yeah, I, I got that situated. And um, what I noticed, yeah, this afternoon is I had a or for lunch, I had a very interesting smoothie. I had two smoothies. Uh, one was like a citrus-based smoothie, and the other was um, very... So one was like citrus-based, and then the other one was... Um, excuse me. <sighs> was really interesting. Like V8 in a um, smoothie is... Whew really becomes very overpowering even with like bananas in there and and peaches or pears it really takes the flavor it's like a canned type of tomato sauce um so i definitely got to neutralize that a lot that was the lesson of the day and um i also added uh this kind of uh just leftover it was supposed to be like a, a bread that i put in the microwave you know made out of flour and like sausages and whatnot but yeah I've had that experience a lot especially with making stuff in the microwave you know that's meant for more like the oven um yeah I ended up um leaving and I basically had a catch up from yesterday uh in terms of posting content um doing hashtags tagging people and catching up with notifications likes um, it's going great. I'm closer and closer to 200 followers uh, for Chase and North Santa Fe. Um, I'm getting uh, some interactions and, of course, likes and uh, people reaching out. And um, I first place I went to today was Cat Tortas, which I actually had been to before. And um, I guess the manager wasn't there for an entire week, which doesn't sound it doesn't sound realistic. I was asking the same same girl uh, I saw last time, and so she said that yeah, the manager hadn't been there for an entire week, and I I don't I don't know if I believed it, but I was persistent because uh, you know they they have a really cool restaurant. I really like their vibes, their music too. I mean they're playing Dirty Bit by um, uh, Black Eyed Peas. They were playing. Um, uh, Neo work hard play hard I'm like dang this is like all music that I like you know this progressive you know the traditional the radio progressive house music and I mean I like the the fact that they focus on fresh fruits I mean they have that laid out there like literally it's it's out for people to see like pineapples beets carrots it's like this is like jamba juice for Mex uh for kind of like a Mexican twist on it because it's tortas you know and they have, yeah, it's a torta shop. You know, it's a sandwich, basically, a Mexican sandwich shop. But it has fresh fruits, and it's it's a great idea that should be known by people in, like, Encinitas, people in Cardiff or Carl's. You know, the people that love that healthy food stuff. You, you guys know. You, you just, all you have to do is go down the coast, and you'll see the organic, vegan, you know, the juice places like Plant Power, um you know, vegan tacos in Lucadia. I mean, you just have to check out those areas and you'll see the markets too. I mean, well, you have Lazy Acres and Encinitas. You have uh, Gelson's and La Jolla. You know, all these food places that sell like organic and, and vegan stuff. Uh, I just went to uh, Bristol Farms in La Jolla and I was like, so like 
it was really cool. They have a lot of great foods that are full of antioxidants and and superfoods, basically. That's what I've been looking into. But even the Mexican markets have superfoods. They have chia seeds. They have uh, a lot of different uh, fruits. Uh, I mean, they have dates and they have nuts, which are great superfoods. Sorry, guys. I just had to wipe my nose there. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I would say that the superfoods are, are great. Um, and then I ended up, uh, excuse me, I got his number. I, I saw him right in front of me, but he was busy like doing other stuff. So I was like, uh, is this the guy? I guess I was a little hesitant, but um, I got his number. So I'll probably end up calling him and being like, uh, is this, uh, dang, what was his name again? Uh, uh, snap, I just lost his name. Um but yeah, so definitely I went to Cat Tortas. I got an acai smoothie. It was really good. Very refreshing. Fresh fruit. Um, very, it wasn't too heavy. It was a lot of great ice in there, which was great for, um, especially today. Uh, it was kind of nice though. A little bit of change of pace. Um, I went over to the pinata shop and I had a great conversation with a business owner. Um, and then I went to Salsa Market, dropped off my, uh, um, news article from like three years ago and I guess they appreciated that a lot and I went to La Mexicana Market um, just talked about how I saw them on Instagram and uh, I guess I could have mentioned that you know I'm on Instagram too um, and I, we're following each other and supporting each other I went to Coco's Nutrition they recognized me and uh, I got this crazy uh, like fruit slices um, jicama cucumbers and tons of chamoy and chili salt it was it's intense the flavors kind of sweet but tangy and i walked basically from there to home and that was probably maybe like four miles um and two people two guys in a car and one guy on a skateboard were like what is that because it, it was pretty strange once you get out of that part of town and you walk with like that it's it catches that is the best part is that if you were to try to sell that to a different part of town you could get so many people coming through the door. Instagram famous guys. All they need to do is get out, get outside of North Santa Fe, and they would be Instagram famous. They would literally blow up Instagram because of how crazy the stuff they make looks. They would have so many people coming to their store. I, I kid you not, guys. Uh, but yeah, today was pretty productive. I've been to all, literally almost all the places down North Santa Fe. Food, ice cream markets i've given my business card literally to almost all the places and um i had some people who are interested so pretty excited to see what happens so i'll see you guys later